What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 15 items that I use on a daily basis living in my car. Some of them I use several times throughout the day. Some of them I'll only use once a day. But either way, I use them every single day. And I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get straight into it. I hope you don't mind, but I did prepare a little list so that I didn't forget anything. Um, we're going to run it down. We're going to run it down. So the first thing on the list, item number one, is right here. It's the biggest thing on the list, is my mattress. This is a Foma mattress. I got it on Amazon, all right? It cost me about $150. Uh, but let me tell you something. This mattress, I couldn't do it without it. It's extremely comfortable. It keeps me cool in the summer, keeps me warm in the winter, and it fits perfectly in my Subaru Outback. Um, and I'm sure it would fit perfectly in most um, hatchbacks, right? So speaking of fitting, this mattress is three inches thick. It's got an inch of memory foam on the top layer. And the bottom two inches are just regular foam. So it's a very foamy mattress, hence Foma mattress. Um, and it's 28 inches wide and also 75 inches long, right? So I'm six foot. I can fit perfectly on this mattress, no problem. All of me can fit on this mattress. Very comfortable mattress. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for some of these items, all right? Just so you know. Uh, the next item on the list, couldn't do it without it, is the Jackery Explorer 240. And I believe this is the entry level Jackery, all right? And you know, you're not gonna be able to charge like a microwave or a mini fridge with this. It just doesn't have enough power. However, I use it for smaller things like my phone, my iPad, my laptop. Um, I might use it to charge up um, my little lamp here. Um, I'll use it to run a little small fan or something like that. It does the trick for any of those things. And it seemingly never runs out of power because it comes with um, a plug-in for your car, like the little cigarette lighter. You plug it into the cigarette lighter, and then you just plug this in, and while you're driving around, you know, it's charging up. So I never run out of power. This thing's charging when I'm doing deliveries, and it's good to go at night, which is when I use it the most. And yeah, it's just a great little machine. You got two USB ports right here, and it has a single plug-in, like wall plug-in situation here. Very handy. Okay, the Jackery. All right, next up on the list is actually a group of items, and these are my lights, all right? We all need lights in the house, right? Keep the lights on, except I don't have uh, a light bill, you know? I just have batteries. So, let's begin. This is item number three, guys. All right, so, the Unifon Touch Lamp. Got this on Amazon for $15, all right? And what I love about it is that it's rechargeable. I charge it right here with my, my Jackery and, um, you know, it lasts a good while, you know, maybe a couple of days before you have to charge it up again. Boom. Pull that down. It changes colors. You've got all kinds of different colors and brightness levels, right? And it's very portable. You know what I mean? I put it anywhere in the car. Um, I use it mostly in the back of the car. Um, like on my, I guess you can call it my nightstand. I just put it there like a lamp. It acts like a lamp. You know, it feels great. Adds a nice vibe. Uh, to the car as well. Unifon touch lamp. I'll leave a link in the description below for this as well. Boom. Okay. The second light, I got to reach back for this one, is just a Barnes and Noble book light. $8. Okay. Boom. Boom. It's got two lights on her. Okay. And this is good for, you know, placing somewhere like this, right? And shining a light down on my situation. Maybe I'm brushing my teeth and I want to shine a light down there. Maybe I'm taking a pee and I want to shine a light down there so I don't pee down my, my pants, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just a very handy situation. You got to see what it is that you're doing and you need to do it hands-free, you know? So you just clamp this anywhere. Look at this. I just shine the light down. It just kind of clips onto everything. So you can put this anywhere. You know, it's a very handy. I also use, use it for reading, which was its intended purpose. You know what I mean? It just, it's just very useful for so many different things. And I like to just keep it right here. All right. So I know where it is at all times. 
Speaking of knowing where things are at all times, this is the third light on, on this list here, on this little sub list, I guess you could say, is just a regular old flashlight, okay? I got this at Civis for $8. Some people call the place CVS, but I call it Civis. All right, so here we go. Bam, bam, this light is bright as hell. And let me tell you something. You may think that because you're living in a small space, you're not going to lose anything. Everything's close by. Bullshit. Okay, you're going to lose stuff all the time, especially when you're living in a car. It's crowded. You got things here, things there. And if you drop something that's small, trust me, you're going to need one of these to sift through. The, even in the daytime, you know what I mean? Like you're going to need a flashlight to see your way around. Okay. Also, I use this for my deliveries at night uh, when, you know, I'm coming up at, at like a dark house. And I can't see any numbers. Bam. Very handy. Very inexpensive. And uh, it's a must-have. So that's going to do it for the item number three, the lights. All right, item number four, baby wipes or wet wipes. Okay, these are just very handy to have. Um, you know, if I want to clean up a mess in the car or whatever. You know what I mean? It's just good to have these on board. You just never know what you're going to need them for. You know, but you'll find out. You'll find out. It's just good for messy situations, right? Have these nearby and uh, yeah. Next one, paper towels. All right, everybody needs paper towels, whether you live in a car, a van, an apartment, or a mansion. Everybody needs paper towels, all right? And you know, you got the basic reasons why you would use a paper towel, but here's the main reason why I, I, I use paper towels. And that is when I'm brushing my teeth at night, right? I don't have a sink to spit into. I just take off two ply, I spit into it. I put it into my trash can. And then, you know, I keep it moving, you know? So like I, I spit in, in, into these, right? So the paper towels are very handy. I use them every single night. Boom, paper towels. Okay, the next item on the list, item number six is spray bottle. I use this spray bottle every day. And you know what I use it the most? On my face. Oh man, that's good. You know, I, I hit myself with the spray bottle every single morning. And it just kind of, you know, wakes me up a little bit, right? Um, also, this is like my my sink. So when I'm washing, uh, if like if I pull out an apple, for example, I want to wash the apple first. I spray it down and I use my paper towels to dry it off and I'm good to go. You know, things like that, you know. Also, this is very good for cleaning. Um, I use this to clean my cereal bowl when I'm done or when I'm done eating, I'll clean the pot or whatever it is. I use this for cleaning. Um, and to wake me up and for anything really i could even you know in the mouth after i'm done brushing my teeth you know what i mean it's just very handy to have and obviously very inexpensive so spray bottle must have all right item number seven here we go the ipad all right so my ipad here is a very handy tool you know this is pretty much my flat screen tv and um i use it for my netflix if i'm googling something uh, scrolling up on YouTube, whatever, you know, that you use an iPad for. This is very handy. This is my entertainment right here. And you might be asking yourself, well, how do you get service? Well, I added this iPad to my plan for an extra 20 bucks a month. And with that, I get the unlimited data. So it's like having Wi-Fi in the car at all times. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Which leads me to my next item. All right. Item number eight. All right. Item number eight is right behind me here. And this is my gooseneck iPad holder, okay? So it's right here, but you know, this thing right here, it just, it holds the iPad. It holds the iPad and I can position it to where I'm lying down in my bed. And it's just like having a freaking mount, you know, it's, it's a mount for the iPad, so it's hands-free and it's very convenient to have. Uh, I got this on Amazon as well for 25 bucks. And I'll leave a link in the description for this below as well. And yeah, man, just the, the gooseneck I, iPad holder. An absolute game changer, man, for like entertainment. And just, it's like, adds a level of luxury to your situation. Trust me. Okay, the next item on the list, item number nine. Basic, guys, we're gonna talk about blankets. So I use blankets every single day. This is just one of my blankets. I have the other one back here. The Jackery's on top of it. Uh, this is my Ninja Turtle blanket. This has been around for quite some time. This was actually my son's when he was a kid. And it, so it has like, it has the comfort thing and it's useful, but it also has that memory attached to it, which is nice to have in the car. Um, 
and I use the blanket. I use one blanket to drape over the front seats for additional privacy. Um, and then the other blanket I use in the summer for, you know, to sleep with because I don't use my mummy bag in the summer. It's too hot. So just small blankets, two small blankets, plenty, plenty to have. So there we go, blankets. All right, the next item on the list, item number 10, probably my most prized possessions, okay? And that is my window covers, okay? So I made these window covers myself with Reflectix wrap uh, from Home Depot. And I also used black duct tape to wrap around so that it adds a level of stealth um, to the window covers. So these window covers serve two purposes. Number one, they help to regulate the temperature in the vehicle just a little bit. Not, not, it's, not like, it's not like it's gonna keep all the cold out or all the heat out, but it will, it will help, it will help. Um, but another feature is that it's stealth, stealth mode right here. It's, it's for, for privacy, you know, and um, it's one of my favorite parts of the night is putting up my window covers because it just, it just makes things so much more cozy in here and so much more private, you know, and um, yeah. So made these myself and um, use these every single day, every night, I should say. Okay, the next item on the list, and these go kind of hand in hand with the, with the window covers. Now I will say this, don't get it confused. I wrapped those window covers with duct tape, not this. This is Gorilla Tape, but I do use Gorilla Tape uh, to keep the back window cover on. That back window cover is real stubborn, man. It, it'll, it'll keep falling down. So what I do is I'll just use it to, you know, kind of tape up to the top of the car and it keeps the window cover in place in the back. And I don't, it's not like I have to redo it. I just take it down and fold it over and I, I use the same three pieces every single day. So this is just gonna be handy for keeping things in place. The Gorilla Tape, is clutch while living in a car. All right, where are we? Item number 12. We all need a bathroom. This is a pee cup and don't worry, it's not, it hasn't been used yet. Um, so I will use one of these cups every, every single day. So when I'm doing my deliveries, I'll always ask for at least one or two or three of these cups so I can have them in the car um, because when I wake up in the middle of the night and I got to go to the bathroom, if it's number one, you know what I mean? I just pee into this and it's pretty handy. And you might be asking yourself, what about number two, right? Well, here's the thing about number two, guys. You know, I clear out, I evacuate, you know, as much as I can throughout the day. And I, I rarely have an issue at night. I've only, it's only happened to me once in a year and a half where I had a situation and, um, you know, I have something in place for that as well, like a little porta potty um, kind of thing to have. Um, but, you know, that doesn't really happen. If you eat well and, you know, you take care of yourself and you just go to the bathroom throughout the day, you should be good to go for the night. You know what I mean? Um, but as far as peeing is concerned, definitely a lot more active with that. So I use one of these um, almost every night. Uh, not every night, but almost every night. All right. So this barely made the list, but it's there. Pee cup. All right, item number 13 on the list. Let's go. Trash can. This is my trash can, guys. Everybody has a trash can in the house. Just so happens mine's a pretty small trash can. Um, but just for like wrappers and miscellaneous items that you want to, you, you don't want to litter the car with. You know, I just want to keep on putting stuff in here and then I empty it out every day. If, uh, if it's something smelly in there or something like that, boom, seal tight so I can't sniff it. And it's, it's not really an issue like that because I just use it for like wrappers and papers and miscellaneous trash, right? To just stuff in here and uh, empty it out as much as I can. And it's just good to have in the car, right? Like for example, when I use a baby wipe or something like that or a paper towel, it goes straight in here so that I'm not like littering the car, all right? Trash can. Okay, that leads me to item number 14. We're nearly there. We're one more away. Okay, and that is just a basic tray, okay, food tray. Um, I took this from Wendy's just because they, they, were, they had way too many and I just wanted to kind of like uh, loosen their load a little bit. So I took one off their hands. So anyways, um, you know, one of these trays here is just very good to have for, you know, I would put my rice cooker on it or I would, you know, um, you know obviously you want to clean it first, you know what I mean? But 
you just use it for things. If I'm cutting something up, or even if I'm putting my laptop on on my on my uh, lap here, I'll put that on here. You know what I mean? But it's just good to have. Um, and also, I have one of these as well. So I guess you can call them. They're like trays slash cutting boards. They're just good to have on board. It's like a little work surface. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, definitely a tray. Something I use every day. All right, and the last item on the list I can't physically show you here, but those are my shelving units in the back of the vehicle. And obviously, I use these shelving units to put my clothes and my underwear in and, you know, other items, you know, larger items that I can stuff in there. Um, and I also have like a smaller little cabinet, bedside cabinet as well, that I'll keep smaller things like little lights, batteries, Advil, um, miscellaneous items that you would keep in there. Maybe my contact case or something like that, or my glasses I could put in there. So my little shelving units I use every single day. I uh, got them at Walmart, very affordable, very light. And you can just kind of put them into the back behind your seat here. And, uh, you know, again, you can use Gorilla Tape to keep things, you know, latched in there. Um, or a bungee cord even, which I do have, uh, but don't really need. So yeah, the shelving units are pretty, pretty handy to have also. So that's going to do it for my list of 15 items that I use in my car on a daily basis. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are thinking of moving into your car, consider some of these items. It could be a game changer in your life. All right, folks. So until next time, take it easy.